Welcome once again. We're going to talk today about that neat little element, magnesium. If I were to rank minerals as being an order of importance and what they do in the body, I would have to put magnesium right at the top of the list. I, I call it the king of minerals. It's so critically important. I, I'm sure if you understood uh, some of the commercial uses of magnesium, you thought, you'd kind of think it was pretty cool as well. Do you realize that those fireworks you see on the 4th of July and uh, the sparklers and whatever you know that you, you do in your, your little celebrations on the 4th to celebrate this birth of this great country. Well, without magnesium, it'd be pretty dull. And the, in the theory of relativity that Einstein gave, we, we explained this in, the, in a prior vid video, energy, you see, energy is, is basically mass, atomic mass, times what? The speed of light squared. Energy is mass times mc squared, basically. Okay, so energy in everything is relative. Energy at the cellular level is critically dependent upon magnesium ions. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. And here's why this is so important for you to understand, folks. The vast majority of people are deficient in magnesium. I, I just uh, read a report put out uh, by government agencies and they estimate that 70 percent of Americans aren't getting enough magnesium in their diet. Uh -uh. I read the review and how they got to that I thought no 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 that's way understated because you see first of all there is no test uh, a, 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 an absolutely conclusive objective test to measure for for magnesium levels in your blood. There just isn't. Okay. Yeah, you can take some hair samples and people sometimes do that, but it's not it's not reliable, okay? What you have to look at, folks, is symptomology with with magnesium. And just the fact, you know, just a little checklist. Do you consume soda pop on a daily basis? Do you consume carbonated water and, and sugar, even if it's if it's uh, got non-sugar substances like aspartame, folks, carbonated water robs magnesium from your body. Flat out does. That's the first big robber of magnesium in your body. Second biggest robber is sugar. And I'm talking even high fructose corn syrup or anything else that's, that's tied into that sugar molecule that's been stripped of its molasses. Molasses has magnesium ions in it, folks. You strip that out, and then you have the pure white sugar that we're, we, we as Americans especially, just are such a sugar-laden society. You consume sugar, folks, guess what happens? Sugar robs magnesium from your cells. You're already deficient in magnesium in your diets to begin with, and guess what? You rob it. And here's the key, folks. Magnesium deficiency translates into diabetes, heart disease, cancers and all manner of nasties. Okay. The best prevention in the world is not to get diagnosed with this. I just got back from a, 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 full, a full medical exam myself. I went into my local doctor and it was he put, took a full blood workup. I'm, I'm over 55. My sweetheart said you better get it done. He want to keep you around for a little bit longer. So I did. I went into the, to the doctor my white coat and they did a full-scale blood workup. But you know what was amazing is the test came back, uh, the blood work, and the technician blood says, my, my goodness, your, your triglycerides are perfect. Your cholesterol is perfect. Your blood sugar is perfect like a 20-year-old. This, 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 this. And the technician told me on the phone, he says, the doctor and I are quite shocked, really, because you're overweight. And I admit, I said, look, I don't exercise enough. The reason why I, I told him, I said, I've told you what I do. I'm a nutritionist. I do minerals, okay? They were shocked to find out all my, my blood markers so, so well, so beautifully done. And I'm, I'm, I, I wanted to shake him and say, yeah, because, you know, magnesium, calcium, potassium, iodine, these things that, that, I'm, that I take every day help the body and the cells stay healthy. 
it does, you don't have to be looking like a, a superstar model, okay? Your biggest and best wealth, folks, is your health and well-being. That's what we're all here for. This is what I'm here to share with you. Now, if you're exercising regularly, going to the gym all the time and sweating a lot, wonderful, wonderful. But keep in mind the things, the components of sweat is mineralization leaving your body too. So you need to understand the importance of potassium, the importance of supplementing these minerals. If you have a, a beautiful sculpted body, wonderful. Let's make sure the inside is as good as what it looks on the outside. Okay. Magnesium is critical. I don't care who you are listening to this video today. Please just make one note. Take magnesium that's usable and workable in the body. Take it every single day. I promise you, you'll be better. I can't tell you how many people I, I, I consult with daily, weekly, hourly. They call up with a whole bunch of symptoms they want me to fix. And I said, look, I'm not a medical doctor. I can just tell you what my research has shown. Chances are if you have, if you consume a lot of sugar laden foods and a lot of soda pop daily, you're going to be robbing your body of magnesium. You better start supplementing that at least four to six dropperfuls of our, our magnesium product a day. It doesn't matter about milligrams. It only matters what gets into your cells and what carries through that. Get off of that kick of the of the FDA's daily requirements because you see what they're requiring is is a, a, a very largely insoluble form of magnesium and goes into the gut and may not be absorbed at all. The average man or woman needs the equivalent of what's in four of our mineral dropperfuls each and every day. Do it. It's like clockwork. Folks, the biggest killer in this country is heart disease. Heart disease is directly related, whether it's a stroke or just heart attack itself, I'm telling you, it's all dependent upon magnesium. If you're in a high stress job, and many of us in the cities, you know, have to stop, suffer from stress every single day, sure. You know, stress is part of our life, and stress robs the body of magnesium as well, you see. Combine stress with a lot of caffeinated beverages, drinking four or five cups of coffee a day, and then going have and having some Coke to perk you up and some a Danish or that of the office, and your magnesium is getting to critical mass, folks. If you do nothing else from watching this video, get yourself some calcium and magnesium. Magnesium first and foremost, okay? It's a little two ounce dropper bottle. It can go in your purse. Man, you can take it with you, put it in your car. And you're driving to work or driving around, just pop some in your, under your tongue. Do it. Make it a custom every day to do that. Okay? You'll get, it's, it, it really is the equivalent of getting a hypodermic injection of pure elemental magnesium into your, into your bloodstream. It does incredible things. We've had people come to me. One lady in particular came into our office and, and was just so amazed. She was about, oh golly, eight eight months pregnant, she was almost due. She says, I want to just want to tell you how fantastic this little bottle of magnesium has been for me. So it was her third pregnancy, as I recall. Her other two pregnancies, she, she, was, she was suffering so bad from muscle cramps, leg cramps, in the last two trimesters. She said it was so miserable. I would be screaming and hollering because my muscles would just cramp up. A friend of mine said, Look at this magnesium. You take it under the tongue. It, it helps me a lot. She said, I was skeptical. I didn't believe it would help. But when they, I was in such bad pain with my cramps that I, I tried it, and it did work literally within five minutes. It stopped it. And now, she says, if I, if I feel these cramps coming on, I take it under my tongue, and I don't get the cramps. She came in because she was out. She needed to get an, an eight-ounce refill bottle to fill up her two-ounce. And I said, ma'am, why don't you take it every day to stop the cramps from ever happening? Oh, I, uh, can you do that safely as a pregnant woman? I said, it's an element. It's not a drug. You know, if you stop breathing oxygen, which is another element of the periodic table, you wouldn't last long. If your placenta stopped providing nutrients to your baby, the baby wouldn't survive either. 
Take it every day. You can't overdo it. How can you tell if, if you take too much mag of your magnesium? It's called the bowel tolerance test, okay? And that within uh, four or five hours, if you take too much of my elemental magnesium, folks, you will go to the bathroom. But it's a cleansing thing, okay? It's, it's, it's not a harmful disease thing. It's a cleansing thing. It's going to short-lived. There's been commercials on TV lately about people that have to take opioids, okay? They take these pain meds made from opium, and opium blocks your receptors in your bowel, and you get constipated, terribly so. So they have drugs now to bypass this, to help alleviate the symptoms of constipation that's come from opiates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, opium is one of the things that also robs magnesium from your body. Take some magnesium if you're taking some opiates. If you have to take pain meds, you better take six to eight dropperfuls of magnesium every day and you won't have the problems. Now, the FDA may get mad at me saying that. You probably won't have those problems. We can't make medical claims, and we don't make medical claims. Ladies and gentlemen, we just tell you the science. Okay, I'm animated about this because I see so many people having magnesium deficiency symptoms and problems. It's widespread. It's epidemic. And the key, the key thing is, it doesn't need to be that way. For heaven's sakes, a two ounce bottle of magnesium will run you at under 20 bucks and it's a month supply and you don't have problems. Okay, it's such an important, powerful mineral. Oh golly. Folks, thanks for listening to me. You know, and I'm, I'm telling you, this is such a simple thing to do and simple thing to share with people. Again, it's the king of the minerals.